Score and emboss is a special action a curio can perform that will first lightly score around the edges of an image with a blade and then will press slightly inside the score lines with an embossing tool. This makes a more dramatic deboss or emboss effect than the embossing tool alone and is intended for use with the silhouette score and emboss paper. Start in the emboss panel that looks like a raised star and choose deboss or emboss. Deboss means the embossing tool will press into the score and emboss paper as you see it on your screen, creating a recessed relief of the design. Emboss means the embossing tool will press into the back side of the score and emboss paper, which you'll place face down on the embossing mat, so when you flip it back over, you'll have a raised image of your design. I'll choose Emboss, and it tells me my page will be mirrored when sent to the curio, so I will be placing the score and emboss paper face down. There's not actually a front and back side to the score and emboss paper, but if you add any printed image to the paper before embossing, that would be important. Now that we've decided on emboss, let's go to the score and emboss tab on this panel. The icon looks like a ratchet blade. Choose either a fine or wide embossing tool. Now our choices are between passes or fill. One pass will create a single line for the embossing tool. More passes will place more lines slightly inside each previous pass. Select your design and click Apply Score and Emboss Lines. Let's zoom in and you'll see now there's a red cut line, but there's also a blue line just inside of it. The red is for score and the blue is for emboss. Curio will use both tool holders for a score and emboss project. If you want to see what two passes looks like, just increase passes to two and apply score and emboss lines. You'll see this will create another pass just inside the first. Multiple passes here is not the same as multiple passes in the send panel because that cuts in exactly the same place each time. You can go anywhere up to 10 passes on this panel, but I tend to stick with 1 to 3. You don't need to click Undo each time. Applying various passes will reset and apply the number you've input. If you choose Fill, it will fill the entire design with a series of closely spaced embossed lines. You probably wouldn't do it with a large area like this, but a design with a smaller space to fill would look better. That's all there is to converting a design to score and emboss. Let's look at the Page Setup panel and then the Send panel to make sure we set up the cut job correctly. My paper size is set to the default curio size, which is 8.5 by 6 inches. That means I'll be trimming down a letter size sheet of score and emboss paper. My cutting mat for score and emboss paper should be the emboss mat, so I'll make sure I've chosen curio emboss 8.5 by 6 inch, or you can choose the larger base if you have it. I'll also point out while we're here, these two small arrows in the corner of your virtual emboss mat. When you place your media of any kind on the soft white emboss mat, you won't place it all the way to the corner, but will leave this much area of the sticky white mat exposed as indicated by the arrows. Now to the send panel. If you remember, we set this up to emboss instead of deboss, so here at the bottom of the page, you'll see the page is going to be mirrored, as indicated by this backwards letter F. The full preview doesn't show it reversed, but if you use the correct paper size and place it on the mat correctly, the design will always emboss as it should. The material automatically set itself to score and emboss paper when we applied score and emboss lines in the emboss panel. The red tool holder is going to score with the ratchet blade, and you need to set the blade to 1. Let's expand Tool 2, and the blue holder will emboss with the fine embossing tool. To find the platforms to use, click on the three small dots. Click on Emboss, since that's what we're doing here. It tells you to use platforms with a value of 5. The emboss mat will be the top platform. Click the X to get back to the regular Send Panel view. You're ready to send the job once the base is loaded. 
It will score, then emboss, a mirror image of what you see on the screen. So when you flip your paper over, you'll have a raised image. I hope you found this video on score and emboss helpful. Thanks for watching.